Congratulations, Dan. Your first full-length documentary, and here you are standing a ba holding a BAFTA yes, for breakthrough talent. Read it myself. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the program and what it covered. Um, the program sort of developed over uh, quite a bit of time. I was just quite inspired by one character I met, and the more I stayed up on the moors, I met more people that sort of just kept me there. So, how did you meet him? Was it just? Um, I found it was a very small article in a local paper, and I just really wanted to meet him because. I felt something was going on there that, you know, I read between the lines, I think, and I thought there was more, more there than met the eye, so I wanted to meet this man. So it was the guy's called Arthur. Yeah. How did you get Arthur to trust you to be able to create this program? Oh, right. Um, well, Arthur, I think, was always uh, a gentleman that quite liked the idea of uh, appearing on television. I got that impression when I first met him. So actually, the, the task was trying to get him to sort of be more himself rather than an actor in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. Um, and I suppose that was the biggest challenge with Arthur, is just sort of uh, making him be himself, really. Well, you got through it because you're here now. What yeah. would you say to anyone who, who wanted to get into the business? Um, it's a bit clichéd, but I would say just keep on pursuing it when all else seems to be failing around you. Because uh, one person took faith in, in me. If I gave five minutes of a piece of film of a guy I met on the moor, and the next thing I knew I had a BBC commission, and I had a career, <laughs> nothing so it it does go to show that these things do happen what's next for you uh good question i'm not sure i'm still looking for the right thing the right person to inspire me i suppose well, brilliant well good luck with that thank you very much and well done thank you